Hey guys, it's Chelsea. I'm here to make four items from the new Miniverse Hello Kitty series. I'm going to start off by making the Hello Kitty tiered cake. They gave us a two tiered cake that's yellow with pink polka dots. So we're going to go ahead and put some of the glaze that we were given. We've made a lot of these cakes in the past. Miniverse seems to always include some type of cake in their series. Most recently, we did a cake for the Halloween 2 series. So we've done this before, but this one is extra cute. So I just went ahead and put glaze around the top part of the bottom layer and then we're going to take our cute little silicone spatula that we got and spread that glaze around. While we spread that glaze around, we're going to go ahead and get our drip started down the side of our cake. So it's better to put a little bit more of the glaze on the layer so that we have some to help drip down our cake. So we were given these cute pink icing rings and we're going to go ahead and take the larger one and put it over the smaller tier. And it's a little snug so I'm taking my toothpick to help push it down until it reaches the bottom layer. So we're going to use our toothpick to help move around some of the glaze that has oozed out from the bottom of the icing ring and then just fix the glaze. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and set that. So this glaze is a little translucent, so I want to make it a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to go ahead and put a second layer of glaze on what we've already done. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and set it. It looks much better with a second layer. Next, I'm going to go ahead and work on glazing the top layer. Um, so we'll just put some glaze and then spread it around with our handy silicone spatula. And it's okay if you cover up those holes as long as you don't set it before putting in the topper. So after I spread the glaze, I'm going to go ahead and put the icing ring on and then fix the glaze and add some drips. We were given this really cute cake topper. It's Hello Kitty with a rainbow and some balloons. So, so cute. So we're going to go ahead and find those holes that we covered up earlier and stick the topper in. And then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and set this. I think I accidentally deleted the next part that I did, which is put a second layer of glaze onto the top um, layer to make it opaque just like the bottom layer but yeah I did that and we were given these really cute red bows in my unboxing video I said they were sugar bows but I believe they're they should be like fondant bows but anyway I went ahead and put some of the glaze on to stick the bows on and after that I set the whole cake and basically our tiered cake is all done The tables included in the series are so cute. It's a little Hello Kitty head and the cake stand for this cake is just too cute. The details are just adorable. There are little Hello Kitty heads all, all along the edge of the stand and then bows at the base. So once we put on our doily, we can put on our cake and yeah, so cute. This cake is just too adorable. Next, we're going to be working on the Hello Kitty strawberry milk we were given these super cute milk bottle glasses and of course we need our milk so we're going to go ahead and put the milk in the bottles i didn't fill it up all the way to the top but i should have so if you're going to do this put the milk all the way to the top and you'll see why later
we were given some of this strawberry milkshake powder mix and that flap there is just uh, decorative so I had to go ahead and cut it open but I believe this is the same powder that we were given in the Hershey's um, bundle to make the strawberry milk so we're gonna go ahead and put some of that powder in there depending on how deep of a pink you want that's how much you're gonna put in but we're gonna go ahead and mix up that powder with the milk until you're satisfied with the color that you get I went ahead and cleaned off the rim of my glasses until I realized I needed to fill it up more. So you can go ahead and skip that step. But look at the straws that we get, so cute. I love the pink and white straws and the red bow. And those red bows are adjustable so you can change the height of it. So here is when I realized that I made a mistake. So we got these, um, whipped creams with strawberries on top and when I put it in it didn't really fit flush so I knew I had to fill up the glasses more with milk so that when I set it those whipped creams would um, set to the glass and wouldn't move because other than that they are just going to fall out so fill it up to the top so that your whipped creams have somewhere to rest on and set on to. After we're done curing our strawberry milk, we're all done. Look at this cute placemat, so cute. And this is my favorite. It's a little Hello Kitty tray to rest our drinks on. And we are all done with that. With this item, we were given this mini post. There's a lot of fun things to read and to do on this mini post. So that's a cute addition to this item. I love this one. Next, we're going to be working on our Hello Kitty waffles. This item is just too cute from the placemat to this super cute plate. I love it. Kind of sad that we have to cover up that little cute plate, but I got a duplicate of this, so I have an extra of those plates. So here are our waffles. These are just so cute. I love it. So we're just going to go ahead and place the waffles wherever we want on our plate, and then put on some of this maple syrup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle it all over our waffles. Personally, I don't like a lot of syrup with my waffles, but on this one, we're just gonna go ahead and go at it. But yeah, looks so yummy already. We were given some sliced bananas, some sliced strawberries and blueberries to um, decorate and to garnish our waffles. We were given this cute little Hello Kitty fork for our waffles. So I'm just dipping the fork into the syrup and then placing it on our plate. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and cure and set our resin. And after that, we're all done. I think this dish turned out so cute and it looks really yummy too. I love the maple syrup dripping down and the fruit makes it look extra yummy. So yeah, really cute. The last item we're going to be making is a Hello Kitty strawberry milk and cereal. The placement we were given for this item is so cute and so is this bowl. I would love to get a duplicate just to have another one of these bowls. So we need milk for our cereal and at first I thought it was just regular milk but it's actually strawberry milk. So we're going to go ahead and put some in our bowl and we're going to put the container upside down so we can have it ready for if we need more. So here it is the strawberry milk and we get a box of this super cute cereal. I think this box is extra cute as well. This cereal mix contains some strawberry and vanilla 
cereal O's as well as some red bow pieces. This mix is so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some of those cereals into the milk with our super cute Hello Kitty spoon. After I'm done curing that layer of cereal and milk, I'm going to go ahead and put more resin on top. And then I'm going to put some of the cereal pieces to the side just in case I need them for later. And then I'm going to put cereal on top of that resin just so that they could be floating on top. Because the ones that I mixed with the cereal kind of got lost. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some on the top. I want to do a little frozen moment, so I'm just taking some resin and curing it while I lift up the spoon. Next, I just dip my toothpick into the resin milk and just putting it on a couple places in my bowl so that I can add some pieces where I want it. I want some pieces to look like they're falling off the spoon. And I almost forgot that we got raspberries for this cereal. So I don't like raspberries that much. I'm just gonna put a couple to garnish our cereal and it looks so cute. I'm also adding just a couple more um, cereal pieces to the top and then curing it. Some of the cereal pieces and raspberries I added to the end looked a little bit dry so I wanted them to look a little bit more wet so I just dipped my toothpick in the resin and then brushed it over those pieces and after I'm done with that I set it and our cereal is all done. I think this cereal turned out super cute. I think what makes the whole dish is this bowl and the spoon. But yeah, this was really easy to put together and it looks really, really cute. So here are the four items I made from the new Miniverse Hello Kitty series. I think they all turned out so cute and they were really fun to make. Um, I have three more items to make from this series. The bento box, the instant spicy noodles, and the donuts. So I will be posting a process video for that sometime soon. I also was finally able to order more of this series from the Walmart website. Um, and I should be receiving that sometime next week. So hopefully I get the items that I'm missing from this series. But honestly, I really don't mind getting any duplicates from this series because everything is just so cute. So which items would you want to get from this series? And how do you feel about this series? Are you excited for it? Or are you going to pass on this series? Leave it down in the comments below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.